I somehow managed to misplace my tripod plate, so camera's on a bookshelf at the moment. Um, I keep coming in here in my studio to film videos on like setting the space up, but I keep being unhappy with the results of it, so today we're going to try and remedy that. Yeah. Couldn't find the tripod plate, found a light. Um, probably going to film most of this on this little guy and just check in every now and then. Um, yeah. All right, I've never actually tried using the time shift on the Insta361R, so we'll see how this turns out. Okay, somewhere along the way my time-lapse camera died and I recorded an entire take without any audio. So today's going great. Um, at the moment, I'm just kind of playing with the layout of the desk trying to see what I like. Um, I'm gonna try and change the battery in the Insta and then maybe try and plug it in as well. And then get back to it. Okay, I think I'm about done for today. I got all of the rearranging done that I wanted to do. Now it's a matter of getting it cleaned up and things actually plugged in. It's kind of a mess at the moment. Uh, also, I want y'all to appreciate the fact that I have a light balanced very precariously on top of the wireless receiver for my mic. It's kind of neat. Okay, I'm gonna do this quick before my battery dies. This is for audio sync. I'm recording audio on that camera, but this is the state of the desk. It's a mess. I have to remedy that. Here's the printers. I still have to fix this one. I, I posted on Instagram about this one. This one's a, a disaster. Just, gah. Um, but yeah, we've got our little instrument corner over here, just kind of hidden. But yeah, it's coming along nicely. So today is technically day two of working on this whole thing. Uh, today I'm going to try and finish it. Um, we have to do the wiring for the desk, um, build a couple pieces of furniture, put up some acoustic foam, and then kind of there. So let's get to it. Here's the desk. Took a little bit of time this morning to kind of sort all the cables out, figure out what's what. Um, 
patch bay has a bunch of different cables that come out of it kind of here here and here and then there's a power cable way over in the corner um i've got really short microphone cable some cv patch cables instrument cables um power bricks with another one here for my dock uh iec cables uh display port mo uh, cables for my monitors i wish these were mogami that that'll happen at some point uh, and then power cables for my monitors and then data cables um yeah i'm going to time lapse getting all the power cables plugged in and kind of cable managed and then i'm going to go over a couple of tricks that i have for working with patch bays because i have already built this patch bay i don't want to take it apart to rewire it with everything on the desk everything that is on the desk was on the desk so All right, I'm gonna show a trick. I already built this patch bay. It's, it's put together, it's all wired up for what needs to be plugged into it. You just, you know, it's not labeled, which is my fault. It should be labeled. But I just need to figure out what everything is so I can plug everything back in the same way that it was prior. So what I have here is a cable tester. This is just a really basic cable tester. I think these are kind of cheap. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug one end of our cable into this device. We're gonna grab a patch cable, plug it into the other end of this device, and we're gonna probe. Nope. Nope. There we go. As soon as it lights up, that's the one we go. So my synth is on this yellow one. I'm gonna leave the yellow one behind now, just so that I know. And I'm gonna take the synth cable and plug it in to the synthesizer. And I'm basically just gonna continue down the line with that until I figure out what's what. Now I've got a couple of cables up here. One of these I think I'm gonna have to swap out for something longer so that I can plug the Moog into, but the other one is gonna come up here to my quilter, my, uh, my little guitar amplifier. That is our guitar amplifier. Now, the audio interface and this guy pretty much live over here. So now I have to figure out what's what over here for these connections. Because basically I'm gonna need these two and two more to come over here to connect to this guy. And then the other four should connect to the interface. So I skipped ahead a couple of steps um, just because getting this whole patch bay thing sorted was tedious and yeah, I had to open it up and kind of retrace a couple of things. One of the cables that I put in here was apparently an instrument cable and I didn't notice it, which is kind of funny. Um, but I caught it at least before this time. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of go over things real quick basically. So everything gets connected to the patch bay and then basically that sorts everything out. So the this guy here connects over here to these bottom connectors actually. And then the audio interface connects over here to the top connectors essentially and it doesn't matter which way these are connected as long as nothing's plugged in here it sorts itself out pretty okay and i know which ones are which over here on these two connectors i've got uh the quilter and um the micro freak uh, micro freak is on loan from a friend and then i went ahead and i just did all the data cables for everything because that was also kind of tedious getting all that set up and pulled through but it's set up so that I can grab things like my MPD or my key step 
and put them wherever I kind of want on the desk. So I can move that over there and grab the key step and pull it over here and I can have it front and center still. But when I don't need it, it's super simple to just put it away. It just goes over here. This is the Thunderbolt cable for the dock so that I can plug my laptop in. And then I've got my boom mic stand over there, which I still got to run the cable for that. But then basically that'll be ready for a mic and the gentle X are ready for power. <clears throat> so basically to the phase of the build, wait, hang on. This ain't doing it. Okay. Yeah. This is a regular video. Wait. God damn it. All right, I'm basically in the phase of this whole thing where I'm just gonna kind of time lapse through building a piece or two of IKEA furniture and kind of call it functional for now. I haven't put up room treatment yet. Um, it's because I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with that. Rad. So I'm kind of wrapping up with the for now. Anyway, I'm just kind of wrapping up for now on kind of the what's going to be the bulk of the progress. I'm going to do probably a little bit of tidying before I shoot a proper studio tour video. Um, but it's it's 81 degrees in here right now, which is a little warm. Um, I figured what would be neat is just giving you a quick little rundown before I do a proper studio tour video. So, desk. This was what we spent most of our time on today. Um, over here is Calyx that we built. And then this is going to be the interface for uh, my printers over here. Um, got some storage back there. Instruments are over here and then kind of the gear shelf. I still have my roommate's desk to assemble. Um, and then I swapped out the keyboard stand on my roommate's piano, um, just because that thing, I love that stand, but it's a behemoth. This is a little bit more manageable. I didn't end up putting up acoustic foam like I said I was going to. Um, and that's mainly because I want to see how this room does. I actually really like the wood walls and I don't want to put a ton of stuff up in here. Um, that and it's foam, which foam doesn't really do that good of a job. And I'll do a whole video on why at some point in the future. But other than a studio tour, what's the next video you might ask? Next video, we're taking this apart.